Well, well, just to be clear, Minister, uh, when the Cherry Tree Lane incident occurred, we had put up a $25 million yeah, reward fund. We have increased that reward fund to $30 million. That fund uh, will, well, has been repurposed to deal with any of these incidents that occur, any of these multiple victim violent incidents Good that occur. Uh, any resident, any citizen, anyone who has any information that is valuable to us in leading to the arrest or giving us information that would lead to the degrading of the gangs, uh, that information would be obviously treated with the care to protect your identity and your security, but you can also benefit from a reward from this fund. So if you have information, let us know. Please tell us. So blessing my viewers, welcome back to the channel. Watch, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Suspect in murder of schoolgirl hospitalized following arrest. Police Commissioner Clayton Fender says the man suspected in the brutal murder of a 12-year-old schoolgirl remains under heavy guard in hospital after being injured during a fight with arresting officers. Police say that Adriel Maxi, a 7th grade student at the Enton Rugal High School, was found dead in bushes last Wednesday, a day after she was reported missing. They said she was wearing only a shirt with cloth, cloth tied around her neck. Fermanda told the news conference that the child had been sexually assaulted and strangled to death. He told reporters she was not wearing a uniform and police were still trying to locate her school belongings. The top cop said that the main suspect, a 32-year-old man, is known patient of Sandan Rebel Center that provides physiatric, geriatric and substance abuse service. Boy, my viewers and subscribers, do continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So, viewers and subscribers, we are get to understand that last night a cyclist, a teenage cyclist, was killed in Portmore, St. Catherine, by a bus. He was hit from his bus, his motorbike, while riding along a stretch of main road in Portmore, St. Catherine, last night. At this time, we don't have the full information on the incident, but we will do make sure that we give you guys the full details and full information on what happened to this teenage boy. Alright, so viewers and subscribers, do continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, do remember, watch your video today and for YouTube recommendation.